Hi guys, I'm Nina and in this video I will be drawing colored hair using colored pencils. This is the second part of my tutorial and in the previous ones we were drawing blonde and dark hair using only graphite pencils. So if you haven't seen it, check it out right now. And let's start! I'm drawing four different locks of hair, brown, black, blonde and red. I'm going to use a mix of pencils and I will present them before starting drawing each lock. Most of the pencils are watercolor pencils by Kahinor, but you'll see that I'm using different ones and it actually doesn't matter because it's mostly about the color decision. So let's start with the brown lock. I'm literally in love with this Krita color pencils. And some of you might tell me that you've tried other brands that are better, but I can actually buy these pencils one by one in my city, which is amazing. But again, don't look at the brand, look at the colors. For your convenience, I will be making little marks next to every lock to show you what colors I use. As you can see, for this lock of hair I need two shades of brown, a light one and a dark one, and a black pencil. I always start drawing with the lightest color no matter if it's graphite or colored pencils. Sharpen your pencils as much as you can and start making short, steady strokes following the hair direction. Remember that it's easier to draw around the highlights than trying to erase it later. Actually, it's kinda impossible to erase the colored pencils. If it was graphite, I would take a brush or a blending stump to blend the pencil. When drawing with color, this function is performed by white pencils or by blending pencils. It doesn't only blend the colors together, it also smooths the surface, which is paper, of course. After the first blending, I'm taking the dark brown and adding more depth, contrast and structure. When I see that the strokes become rough, I always take a white pencil again to blend. The thing is, hairs are so thin and fine that it can be a real challenge to create this kind of a structure instead of making just a plain brown surface. The last pencil to use is black. It's funny that using the black pencil will not make your drawing look actually black, but will give it more depth and 3D effect. 
I'm switching between all three pencils to reach the result I like because I do not have any reference pictures today. You can manage the darkness and saturation yourself. For example, if I add more top brown, the hair will look more vibrant. And if I add more black, the hair will obviously look a lot darker. So go ahead and experiment. So the next lock is black. Drawing black hair is similar to drawing dark hair with graphite pencils like in my previous tutorial, which you can see right now in your top right corner. Well, I'm going to use only two pencils here, a black one and a graphite pencil. I will also use a blending tool and an eraser, but it's optional. So, I'm starting with filling in the lock using a graphite pencil. After blending, I'm taking a black pencil and um, making the lock look black. Remember to keep your pencil sharp. After blending, the lock loses some structure, so every time after blending I add that lost structure. And by the way, on the highlights I use the graphite pencil. By the way, I personally have both blonde and dark hair look. I'm saying it because it can be a really good idea to look at your own hair when you're drawing hair. So just try and do that. Once I'm satisfied with the results, I add some random messy hair and pull out the highlights using a pencil eraser. And while you're watching how I'm finishing this lock, I want to tell you about my feedback group on Facebook, where all the members give each other feedback and support in their art journey. You're welcome to join if you speak English and if you're willing to give and receive constructive feedback. The group is private, you can find the link in the description. So the next lock is blonde. Of course there are a lot of different types of blonde, but as a person who used to work in the beauty industry, I chose the classic blonde color. I don't really know how this pencil color is called, but I chose uh, the one that is not super yellow, more like ochre. We will also need something darker, like a brown pencil, white pencil for blending and a graphite pencil. So, I'm starting with the yellow pencil. I know it's not quite yellow, but I will be calling it yellow. The technique is absolutely the same as uh, in the previous uh, locks, but of course there is no harm to repeat the most important moments, such as keep your pencil sharp. I will never be tired of saying that, because we don't need a plain and flat drawing with no structure. Follow the hair direction and blend your layers. See how the brown pencil transformed my lock into a realistic drawing? 
Together with the graphite pencils, it made my lock look finished and just the way I want it to be. I hope you like it too. And the last lock is red. So these are the colors I'm going to use. Actually, while doing this voiceover, I noticed that some pencils do have a name, but only a few. For example, this orange pencil by Lyra is called Burnt Ochre, and the Krita color ones are Sepia and Dark Sepia. Anyways, I started drawing with this Burnt Ochre pencil and added more redness using this pencil. The color isn't actually red, it's more like a red brownish brick color. And after the blending, it became more orange, as you can see, but I didn't know that would happen. But I like it. And this is my cat Misa. Uh, it's also hard to draw fur, not only hair. But remember that the secret is to slow down and take your time and everything will be awesome. Right, kitty? Right? And the last color is dark brown. And in the end, I'm just playing around with intensity and making it look like I prefer. So to sum up, you actually need a few pencils to draw a certain color of hair. It's wrong to think that if you're going to draw brown hair, you need only one pencil. It's not true. You will also need a blending pencil or a white pencil to blend the layers. And the last thing, don't be afraid of experimenting or making a mistake. And that's it for this colored hair video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this video if you like it, of course. And see you soon, guys. Bye!